welcome once again for this uh, forest menstruation this is lecture number 3 well uh, continuing the first lecture and second lecture and the third lecture now i am going to teach you about the how to measure the dbh and how to measure the gbh and what are the precautions we should take this is very important to understand because diameter is one of the most important factor in measurement of the tree now when we go for the diameter and girth already i explained what is uh, dbh and gbh in the previous lectures uh, we have to make diameter measurement meaningful and is uh, uh, standard location already i have discussed it is uh, at uh, 1.37 1.37 meter so this is at 1.37 meter height from the ground so uh, in india actually and in burma and america and union of south africa british colonies we measure at 1.37 but in some countries uh, like europe uk dbh is at 1.3 meter so there is a minor difference here but generally this is a standard height where we take 1.37 meter from the base this is called so dbh is simply the average of a stem dia outside the bark now why i'm saying outside the bark we bark is also a matter now because bark will not uh, give you the timber so that has to be excluded i'll come in the last uh, how to do that one so at the ground level we take it 1.37 this is universally adopted standard height 1.37 now there are some rules how to measure the diameter you have to make some rules and the, the this rules are standard rules in the entire world which we follow suppose you have a tree straight tree a straight tree we don't have any problem we can take at 1.37 here okay at 1.37 meter from the ground level we are taking the height and but when it is a tree which is leaning now it is leaning see it is this is the ground level it is leaning now when we, it is leaning we will not take straight from here we will take along see this is along when we take along along means along the stem huh and and at the uh, leaning side we will take so we will not take like this see we are taking the diameter at this way like this at the side we are not taking we inclined like that we are taking like this the diameter and we are taking from along side this along is from here not from here not from here when we are standing here we are not taking from here we are taking along along the stem that is very very important this is the first the rule for the diameter the second one is when it in the slope and you in the uphill you don't have to come from down from the uphill you will be taking from here this is the sloping ground again you have to follow this number 2 rule then we have number 3 if your tree you see it is bulging here at 1.3 this is 1.37 at 1.37 it is bulging here and you are taking the diameter the diameter no doubt it will be more you have a error so what you will do here now you will do is either you take above that one either you take lower that below that bulging one when you take above and lower now what you have to do you have can take the average suppose you are taking a here b here you can make the average of a and b okay so this way there is a second rule for that one and if it is uh, at 1.37 bulging here you can go above 1.37 also so now another one uh, things will come that is uh, forking when we say forking forking is here your tree has been forked it has been forked here now what you will do from here base when you come in the top at 1.37 somewhere 1.37 it is to fork here yeah, it comes to number 1 here and number 2 here what you will do now you will take the dia here only at 1.37 only but here you have to consider two trees you have to consider two trees here not one so two dias will be here this is the rule which you should know about that one that is very important and then when okay there there will be some question about if at that forking point if it comes exactly at forking point exactly it comes 1.37 what you will do then simply you can take above and lower generally we come in the lower and consider one tree here so that also is one rule which if it comes at that point 1.37 then if at again 1.37 somewhere here at 1.37 there is some uh, bulging bur is there or some canker is there uh, deformity is there and uh, you have to go above that one 
or lower that one and then make, make, make an average of that one then uh, this is called buttressing now let me tell you what do you mean by buttress buttress is something which is your root system spreading like this see it is spreading why it is doing it is making itself like this it is making itself like this for the support and generally all the tropic, uh, tropical rainforest trees means when the rain is too, very high and tropical at atmosphere is there the root doesn't go very deep there and the forests tend to become more buttressing so they will spread themselves like this for anchoring more batter in the soil so this is called buttressing but buttressing at some time it is here up to suppose buttressing is up to here uh, your dbh is 1.37 here and it is somewhere here 2 meter or 3 meter you have to take the diameter where the buttressing finishes so this is another rule you have to follow when buttresses come so there are dbh rules which you have to take consider how to take dbh where is the position to take dbh or gbh both i am I'm coming back gbh or dbh now what are the instruments to take the diameter at breast height or girth at breast height now there are some wooden uh, scales earlier we used to take then these are there are some calipers there are some tapes there are instruments like built more sticks and pentapolism and so and so and so i'll come on all those instruments slowly slowly in the coming lectures well let's understand about some of the uh, very important instruments now this is called wooden scale this is called caliper big caliper this is tape so uh, we mostly we use uh, caliper or we use mostly tape because we have to take at 1.37 and this is very convenient but not every time i suppose we have to take diameter more of that height because you see when we have a tree uh, it is important to understand the form factor so taking here a uh, dia at 1.37 will not serve the purpose we may have to take more than that 2 meter 3 meter 4 meter 5 meter if we take more dia and the more height more accurate a volume we can calculate so i'll come to that one also so let's understand first about, about caliper this is very important see if you see the caliper we, we have one fixed arm here this is a movable arm here and this is something uh, made of alloys aluminum alloys it may it has a graduated uh, uh, that one i'll show you one caliper this is uh, we can say this is a caliper if you see this caliper this is uh, made up of alloy so you can see this is a fixed arm this is a fixed arm and this is a movable here i can move it see here i can move it so this is a caliper and this caliper uh, we can take the diameter see diameter by putting the uh, from at 1.37 we'll put it and we can take the diameter here this is somewhere you can see the graduated rules here graduated rules are here this is an movable arm but sometimes this movable arm if you see uh, it is to see you can see this is uh, somewhere when i see it is a new one still uh, it is moving here so this movement will make some error this will make some error if i move it inside then here it, it, it diameter will be read more if i move, move it outside the diameter will, you can read it less there are something but this is uh, for the diameter uh, uh, this is the see uh, this much big i can take the diameter big big trees large trees it is not possible to take the diameter the uh, big uh, trees okay the still this is more accurate when but uh, tree sh should be uh, either elapsed or either elliptical then we can take this uh, diameter so i'll come uh, uh, this one uh, next uh, advantage and disadvantage of this uh, caliper when i say advantage of this caliper then uh, uh, it can read directly in centimeter so this is directly adva advantage we get the dbh directly uh, and point of arm touching the tree always in the site we can directly look directly the reading uh, it is adaptable for unskilled labor easily unskilled labor can use this one and give more accurate result than tape okay i'll come to tape also now what are disadvantage for large diameter as, to, as i told you a big big diameter large diameter trees it is very very difficult for us to take in steep hilly areas also first dia we can take we have to take two dia whenever we take the dia actually already in the previous lecture i told you two dia we have to take one dia we are taking a another dia we are taking perpendicular to the b then what we do a plus b divided by 2 we get the dbh suppose for so for a, for example we get a 2 here plus we get here 3 here then it is 5 then 5 divided by 2 we got 2.5 is your dbh this way we can get then 
this is again one precautions we have to take as i told you sometimes uh, by using many times many times hundred of trees it, there is some uh, what is a error which comes here if this arm mobile arm uh, see it fluctuates inside and then what we get more you see uh, our uh, overestimate see here reading will be push, pushed back and if it is going outside and taking the diameter here it is pushed outside we get underestimate either overestimate either underestimate this is one bit drawback if uh, caliper has been used for number of trees more and uh, one more thing if it is ellipse if it is ellipse e l l i p s e uh, shape is like this instead of circular then what we do we have to take a here b here and this is the formula d1 d2 this is a formula pi into d1 into d2 divided by 4 we get the the basal area what is the uh, uh, precaution we take it sometime instead of taking uh, this d1 d2 we tilt it somewhere here when we tilt it somewhere here then it is underestimate again so this precaution we have to take and sometime one, one more thing uh, this is a tree uh, instead of uh, putting it a right angle here in the plane we put it bit slight down and this is the angle theta comes here then again it becomes overestimate now so you can see how much error it is 100 percent error for example uh, a is 60 degree this tilt is 60 degree okay and uh, this is diameter we get 30 centimeter so error involved is d brackets secant a minus 1 we get 0 0.3 secant 60 minus 1 that is 0 0.3 uh, 2 minus 1 we get it 0 0.3 see it is 100 percent so error is there so we have to use carefully at the uh, perpendicular at the, at the plane of that axis so that is very important for this to understand about the caliper to be used now we we'll come to tapes now what do you mean by tapes tapes are simple tapes okay the tapes are simple tapes when you see this is a tape it's a simple tape everybody is using this tape this tape has both cgs and ps both uh, feet and centimeter will be there uh, this is made up of uh, see the, the cloth and sometimes with the plastic also and sometimes these are these are for measuring the girth but sometimes these are calibered also directly calibered tapes are there we can get uh, dbh also but generally all use this one it, its length may be 30 uh, meter maybe 15 meter whatever so we can take the entire circumference by this tape okay but this tape is more easier because uh, any terrains we can take only one measurement is enough and relationship as it, as i told you uh, we have to divide by 3.142 we get the dbh girth can be converted into dbh very simple uh, there are some advantages convenient to carry see this is convenient to carry second is one measurement is required no two simple one girth we will take gbh and then we can convert to dbh so there is no problem but disadvantage if there is a rough bark again there is an error then uh, frequently uh, applied to uh, plane right angles to the axis now it is not applied every time frequently sometimes uh, some error comes i'll come to that one how the error will come and the elasticity also affects the girth what do you, i mean by elasticity see when i'm saying it is not some when you make a circumference from back to here every time it is not in the plane it will tilt down sometime or it will be twisted so this is incorrect here yeah. due to this overestimate will come so this is wrong measurement error will come so because a, this we use for a large diameter tree large diameter tree so making a circumference a large somewhere somewhere it will go and incline so that is incorrect this is one of the precautions we have to take and secondly using too much there is elasticity and expansion again this elasticity and expansion will give errors so we have to take care of this one already this uh, relationship i told you uh, we have to whatever gbh we get it we can divide by 3.142 we can get the dbh okay so this is what now another instrument is called built more stick built more stick is very simple and uh, uh, we have one stick with uh, this graduated with all this readings here this is we stand here at 25 inch from that tree 25 inch it should be one from one eye you will see one left edge you will keep the last of this one and you will read without moving your head only you will move your eye one eye not your head head you should not you can don't move your head like this like this you have to put your head like this and with one left eye uh, you will see this reading here 
okay and you'll find what is the reading here so you can take two three times and then make an average this is called built more stick okay this also is used for diameter then one more uh, sometimes we need to take the dia not at 1.37 so sometimes we require at 2 meter then we require more again the 3 meter then we have this one called upper stem diameter measurement this is a scale here okay this is a scale here so we what we have to do is uh, uh, 1 meter this is actually uh, this is fixed with 1 meter so at 1 meter so you can take it standing here at 1 meter sometimes you can fix this 2 meter rod again detachable 2 meter is there so at up to 3 meter you can take this dia so taking more dia in the higher level give us more accurate volume that's why uh, we uh, use some instrument which can give us diameter at more height more height more accurate we go for measuring the volume because today is the day of carbon carbon trading carbon estimation so getting the diameter at different height give us accurate volume by getting our volume getting the density of the tree we can go for the exact carbon because carbon is 50 percent of that biomass so that is what we can calculate okay another one is called we also go for this called finish parabolic car car caliper this is also up to when you can go up to 8 to 12 meters sometimes 3 meters is not enough you have to go for 8 to 12 meters then this time uh, this is one graduated see this is the parabolic arm with the telescope this is your tree here okay somebody will put this one here by this one and uh, by some uh, pole of a, a 12 meter pole but from telescope you will see this yeah reading okay this is uh, not so much feasible actually and it is uh, also very difficult sometimes branches will come many things will come so next is very important and that is the spiegel telescope this is one of the most the best result we get it and at any height more than any height 40 meter more than that one you want to take and any height you want to take the diameter this spiegel this is one called spiegel release scope with this one there are some bands when you see from this is from eye from eye you will see here inside here there is one drum this drum has this bands okay this is some black and white bands okay black and white bands this you can see the th uh, broad band thin band broad band this by these calculations we can uh, measure the diameter at different height and this is very applicable and i'll be teaching you detail be taking one or two lectures on this uh, diameter because today is the world of again carbon i'm telling you we have to estimate the biomass and carbon and uh, taking the diameter at different height will give us the exact result so this is spiegel relay scope i'll be coming in the coming lectures about this spiegel relay scope this is the last one we call it swedish bark coach this is for what taking the bark because Every time though you cannot, uh, for some few sample trees you can remove the bark because we need to see only the timber, how much uh, girth it is, how much volume it is, the bark is always there. So for number of trees we cannot do destructive sampling. So we take this bark, Swedish bark gauge, this is, we have to put inside this is a tree, suppose we, this is a tree and we have to put this edge inside the tree, here we will get the readings, okay, we can take the readings here, this will go inside it, it will tell us the bark thickness, okay will you tell us the bark thickness okay so this bark affects the calculation of volume you know suppose eucalyptus very thin bark pinus roxabrogai thick bark so more the thicker bark less the volume is very bit less on that thicker bark you have lot of wastage so when you sell also so every merchant or this uh, sawmiller they will be interested in knowing the bark thickness more the bark thickness they will pay you less so that's why bark thickness is been measured by Swedish bark gauge. So this is all the instruments. Thank you very much for uh, uh, listening to me uh, this forest mensuration. Uh, if you like it, uh, I need your support. Anyway, I'll be coming in the coming lectures, uh, going for the measurement of height. Then I'll go in volume. As in the first lecture, I told you what are those measurements will come, and then uh, ultimately we'll go for the. Uh, crop measurement then stand measurement then at least we can calculate the entire we can go for forest biometry thank you very much thank you for listening to me thank you